Hi, sweet friends. Welcome back. Today, I'm super excited. We're going to be heading outside right here onto our front porch, and we're going to be refreshing it for early spring. And because Easter is early this year and right around the corner, I'll also be adding some Easter decor as well. If you are new, hi, my name is Amy and welcome. I'm currently in my spring decorating series, so if you happen to miss any of those videos, don't worry, I'll have them linked down below in a playlist that you can just click on and continue watching if you'd like. As far as today goes, we'll be grabbing the cushions that we stored away for winter, getting them back on our outdoor furniture, bringing out some really fun festive pillows, adding a new mat to the front door, a wreath, and also I'll be sharing a fun DIY planter idea that I'm excited to share with you. So I hope that you are excited to see how it all turns out. Definitely give me a big thumbs up if you do enjoy what you see today. And I'd love if you would consider subscribing if you haven't already. All right, friends, well, let's go ahead and head outside and get to decorating. I hope you enjoy. Here is your first look at the exterior of our home and our covered front porch. We love having this extra space and it provides the perfect outdoor extension to our home. The weather today, unfortunately, is dull and gloomy. And when I pulled up the weather channel, our area could have possible snow flurries. So I guess mother nature didn't get the memo that I was decorating today. <laughs> Last week, the temps were in the seventies and today, it's dropping down into the 30s. Nevertheless, I am going to bundle up the best I can and proceed with decorating our front porch for early spring and Easter. One of the quickest and easiest ways to add a spring touch to your outdoor space is to add a new spring wreath to your front door. Here's a look at the one that I'm going with. I love the muted colors, tans, and soft whites, a mix of florals consisting of cosmos and hydrangeas, plus a variety of other greenery creating a look that is very realistic. This one was $24.99 and I found it from Marshalls. To the wreath, I want to make it a little bit more Eastery. So I'm going to come in with this He Is Risen Cross and attach it to the wreath using the little hanger that comes at the top. And then I'm just going to take a bread tie and slip it through here and then attach it to the ring that is on top here. And then you just work with it and nestle it inside the, the greenery. Now it's time to rearrange the furniture after winter. Now, during that time, I like to shove them as close to the house as possible so that they're a little bit more protected from the elements. Now, both the rugs and the furniture are from Amazon, so I'll have them linked down below. They have been really great quality pieces at affordable prices. Now, once I get all the pieces back in place, I'll grab the cushions. Surprisingly, I found that storing them inside extra large yard bags works the best and it keeps them nice and fresh all winter long until we're ready to use them once again in the spring. One of the best features on these cushions are the Velcro straps. I love that if we do have a gusty wind or if someone stands up quickly, the cushions are not going to slide around and fall to the ground and instead will stay nice and secure on the furniture. Another quick way to refresh your space for spring and Easter is to give your front door area a quick clean by sweeping away all the dust and debris that might have collected during the winter months. 
Then you can add a new doormat and maybe a layering rug to fit your style and color theme for the season. This will give the area just a super refreshed look instantly. The layering rug and the mat that I'll be using are from Walmart. They are part of the My Texas House collection. This accent rug, the Milford Stripe, is 24 by 36 inches, which makes it the perfect size for layering underneath this adorable scalloped edge core doormat. Although these colors are very neutral, the stripe detail along with that scalloped edge to me screams spring. And after a quick sniff from Nyla, I think she agrees. If you have a long expanse of wall of siding like we do, you can grab some of these metal siding hooks that allow you to hang wall art, which will instantly draw a little bit more interest and attention to that area. Remember to make sure to choose a piece that is outdoor safe if you don't have a covered porch like we do. But in our case, I chose this metal bird and leaf piece to coordinate back to the color of our front door, as well as bring in that sense of spring with many birds perched on the leaves. To fill in that small little corner next to the front door, I'm adding this porch board. I had it during Christmas, so one side says, Oh Holy Night, and the opposite side says, Blessed, which I think is appropriate for all times. So I'm just going to prop that up in this corner. To the opposite side, I want to bring in a super cute spring and Easter touch by creating a DIY planter. This will also hide and conceal the rust rings on the concrete as well. Whoa, is it cold outside? I came in for a bit, grabbed myself a cup of coffee, and I'm trying to warm up so I can feel my fingertips once again. Mother Nature is saying, it's not spring yet, but I am resisting and saying, I'm going ahead, decorating, making our space feel really pretty until we can at least get out there and enjoy it when the temperatures get a little bit warmer. And then spring, it can be 70 one day, and then the next day, 30 like today. I just happened to pick the off day. That's my luck. <laughs> but anyway, I'm super excited to share with you the DIY planner that I have in store. I think it's going to turn out really super cute. And then when it gets a little bit warmer, we can switch out the faux flowers for something real. We will be putting it all together inside and then we'll take it out and place it right next to the front door for a cute little display for Easter. I did want to give you an update on Moko. This is our Shiba Inu. She is 15. And so she has a little doggy diaper on right now because she's having some accidents in the house. She can't hold her urine, but she's doing well. And she is 15. She'll be 16 in September. But I thought, saw that she slipped in while I was filming. And so I wanted to give you just an update on our sweet Moko and how she is doing. All right, so starting off, here is the planter that I just recently picked up from Michaels. I love this fluted detail. It is like a ceramic planter. And I think it is, oh, right here's the size, 14.8 inches by 12 inches. And it was $100, but I got it for 40. The first step that I'm going to do is place this floral foam down into the center of the planter. And you could definitely come in and hot glue it down if you want it to be super secure. But instead, I'm just going to take some of this craft paper, crinkle it up, and then stuff it down on all four sides. And I think that will keep it nicely in place. Next, I'm going to set a 14 inch grapevine wreath over the top. Now, I love this because it has lots and lots of texture and it's a contrasting color to the pot and it just really focuses your attention. Directly in the center of the planter, I'm now going to place this flocked 14 inch bunny that I picked up from Walmart. To secure it to the floral foam, I'm going to take this mini dowel rod and snip it in two, creating a stake that can be used to secure the two pieces together.
Once the bunny is in place, we'll start the fun part, which is adding all of your faux florals. Starting with your tallest stems, we'll arrange them behind the bunny. I chose this one because it reminded me of palm leaves, which are perfect for Easter. Now for the fern, I don't think I want all of them towards the back. So I'm gonna break off a few, and all you do is just go around and around in a circle like that, and then we'll break right off. So I'm gonna just break off maybe two, and leave four in the back. The next floral are these beautiful white ones. I think this will look really pretty. And I also love just the difference in the greenery. So I kind of just spread it out a little bit and I'm gonna stick that in the back. To complement the wreath on the front door, I'm going to add this brownish floral plus some Cosmos to just really fill up the planter. Now both of these flowers I have sprinkled within our home as well, so I think it's going to give a very cohesive and intentional look starting right from the front door area and into the rest of our home. Nestled just to the right in front of the bunny, I'm going to place this adorable nest that I found from Michael's. Then I'll place these dangly stems in and around the nest to fill in and complete the greenery within the planter. Repeating elements within your decor is a designer trick to create a cohesive look. So if you remember, I have birds in the wall art outside, and now I'm pulling in another bird element with a nest and speckled eggs. Another important tip when working with or arranging faux florals is to intertwine and mix the stems. Once everything is in place, go back and intertwine the pieces for a more uniform look. I absolutely love how this turned out. It was super fun to put together. I'd love to hear what you think of it. I'm going to set it right here next to the front door and I just think it fits the space perfectly. Now we can move on to just adding some textiles and fun decor to the rest of the furniture here on our front porch. One of my favorite ways to cozy up and make a space really super inviting is to add a cozy blanket and some pillows. I found this blanket here from Hobby Lobby. I think it looks really nice and it was a great price when it is 50% off. I think it was just under $10. So I thought that was really nice. And then these are just pillow covers that I'm adding to some outdoor pillows and then just placing them on the back of the two rockers. As for the coffee table, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm adding this tray that has a white stripe detail relating back and coordinating to the striping on the layered rug at the front door. Then I'm going to bring in a group of three, which is more pleasing to the eye. I'm first going to place the largest brown distress planner that was from Walmart. It was one of those that was a viral find last year and it is still super popular this year. But I'm going to arrange and fill it with some real field tulips. Next to the flower arrangement, I'm going to come in with this cute little brown rabbit and a ceramic light up egg. Since the egg has a timer, I can set it to come on at a certain time at night. And I think this is going to be a sweet little addition when it casts its ambient glow out of all of that cutout detail. I have this blanket ladder here that kind of separates the two spaces and adds a little bit of height, but I want to add just a spring touch to it. And I'm going to come in with this green baby's breath garland, wrap it around it very casually, and then I'm going to hook a little birdhouse that is made up of license plates that I got a few years back from Michaels. It's one of my favorite pieces that I like to bring out every spring. Lastly, let me grab the final couple of pillows to cozy up the outdoor sofa. 
The largest pillows I found are from Walmart. They are also from that My Texas House collection, and I love them because they are reversible. So on one side, I'm gonna go with the darker tan window pane pattern so that it contrasts against the beautiful embroidered bunny pillow that I picked up from Michaels. Then on the other side, I'm going to add this heavier cable knit blanket and display the reverse side, which is stripes. Since we are obviously still having pretty cold temps, I thought this blanket was still appropriate. We could grab it, wrap up in it, and sit for a bit as we listen to the birds chirp. All right, sweet friends, that pretty much wraps up the decorating for early spring and Easter out on our front porch. You'll have to let me know what you thought and what area was your favorite. I'd also love to hear if you plan on recreating that DIY planter. I really love how it turned out. I'm really excited to get back out there in a few weeks once it warms up and we can start cleaning and also decorating with real flowers. So as we end our time together, I always love to go to God's Word. Now today I'm sharing one of my favorite Psalms, which is Psalm 34 verses 1 through 3. I will exalt the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. I will glory in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I thank you all so much for joining me today. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to spend it with me. And I thank you so much for all your sweet comments and support. You truly mean the world to me. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And I hope to see you back next time for more decorating or shopping for home decor. Well, take care and God bless friends. Bye and happy Easter.